Hey babes and welcome to a new video here on my channel. I am so excited to be back. Super short, my electricity has not been working in this room. Now I have the longest cord from my bathroom. <laughs> Ooh, sounds not safe. But yeah, from my bathroom to here now, you don't even want to see what I've done. <laughs> Long story short, I have not been able to film because I've not been able to turn these lights on. But now I've found a way to do so without using these horrible, horrible plugs that I have over here that smells weird and uh, starts a fire. <laughs> But yes, I am here today to try out a new foundation that you guys probably see up here. It is the Nabla Close Up Foundation. You guys know that the Close Up Powder is my all-time favorite powder in the entire world. Um, so I am so excited to try out this. I have had this little PR box for a while now, actually, like a few weeks at least. And I am so excited to try it all out. As you guys can see, I actually think that the uh, shade range is pretty good for a indie brand. I mean, it could be better, but it could also be a lot, a lot, a lot worse. Um, I just saw they have a beauty blender or a sponge, I want to call it. So I will, of course, try and use this one today. And uh, yeah, we will do a wear test, obviously. That's what I do when I try out foundations. I'm really excited. It is now about 12 o'clock, I think. Uh, I'm just gonna Google what this foundation should do. So the Nabla Close Up Futuristic Foundation is in Swedish crowns, it's 288. So in dollars, that would be like $30, kinda. They have 20 different shades. It's a medium covered foundation and it says it's suitable for all skin types. The close up futuristic foundation offers weightless and buildable coverage that lasts all day long. Made with innovative, innovative? Yeah. <laughs> Coated pigments, this extremely blendable formula evens out skin tone for a incredible soft focus, naturally luminous matte finish. That's a lot. <laughs> it is cruelty free and 100% vegan. Yay! Also, I just want to show you guys that we have the powders as well that we are, of course, going to try. Ah. Let's color match ourselves. I am a little bit tanned, I should say, but not that much. <laughs> also, a huge thumbs up is that Nabla sent these like tests and not the full product. I do have one of the full products. That is the light 50, but it's just so much less waste when you get these because I obviously cannot use this shade, you know. Okay, so this is the light 40 and this is the medium 20. They both look that they have a warm undertone, so I think I'm gonna go in with that. So let's go in with the L40. Now I'm, I'm a little bit tanned. I usually go with the... Um, handshade all around my face because I mean my neck is that color <laughs> and then my like regular shade kind of maybe one shade darker in the middle yeah let's just try it out oh my god I'm so excited it was so long ago since I tried a new foundation Ooh, maybe that was a little bit too dark but oh well I am kind of shocked how yellow this foundation was uh, I'm not really used to it, although it matches my neck. My face is a little bit too light for my neck right now, but I think that works. And now I've only used the light because it was so blendable. I used such a small amount. Let's just see, I'm just gonna go in with the medium 20, a little bit in the outer corners of my face. And also you can really see that it is a medium coverage, but it feels very um, blendable and I feel like you can build it up. It actually looks so good right now, although I kind of want to highlight a little bit and I was thinking maybe I could do it with the... Uh, uh, with another foundation shade now that I have all of the foundation shades. So I'm gonna go in with the L20 light. I feel like I kind of need it because I'm so used to being pale. So I'm just, I don't really feel like myself right now. 
but yeah let's just go in with this a little bit underneath eyes and in the middle of the face i love the look of this at least right now it just sits so nicely on my skin even though the description was a little bit weird for this foundation i felt like everything really is true it is still glowy but matte kind of sheer looking but it's not it's like kind of full coverage at least right now when i've put like three different foundations on my skin but it really looks like skin and it's still glowy about matte in some places and yeah wow i'm really excited about it and now for concealer i am unfortunately not going to use the close-up concealer because i've tried it and it's way too dry for me so i am going to go in with the my new favorite concealer it is the nyx professional makeup can't stop a one stop concealer this is actually a really good test just because I know that this concealer works so well with my other favorite foundations. So if this does not blend in nicely or anything like that, then that is obviously a red flag that blended out perfectly. I feel like with the um, Nabla sponge, because it is like not round on the top, it's kind of hard to get right in here to really blend it out perfectly and now we have the three different powders you guys know that the Nabla close-up uh, powder is my absolute favorite of all time I don't even want to try these I feel like because I, I just want to use that one but obviously we're going to try it and I'm probably going to go in with light so I'm probably going to use the beauty blender because I want to set underneath my eyes and I really want to get in there I actually really like the powder underneath my eyes I've kind of set my entire face just a little bit but I think I'm gonna keep it like this so this is how it looks right now i feel like the under eyes looks a little bit more dry than it usually does with the uh, close-up uh, translucent powder um probably because this powder had some kind of uh, color to it uh, so it looks a little bit more drying and cakey but it still looks like really good i look flawless so yeah this is four i will actually put this video on pause and film another video because it is a swedish influencer called therese lindgren that just launched her beauty brand that is 100 vegan and cruelty free and i really wanted to do a first impression on it so if you guys are interested i'm not i'm blah, blah, what i'm actually going to put it on my second channel and have it in swedish just because the brand is only launching in Sweden at least right now all right I am back and my makeup is fully done I might apply a few lashes that is not launched yet but I will let you know when it is um as I said I did film uh, applying all of this makeup but in Swedish so if you uh, guys are interested maybe you are Swedish then check out my second channel I will have it there I will go ahead and just do everything that I will do today I'm going to a event in a few hours and I'm just gonna sit and do work <laughs> so uh, yeah see you guys in the end of the day and we will see how the makeup is looking I mean the base obviously it is 14 hours later and i am very tired i'm not drunk but a little bit tipsy <laughs> um i was just at a event i actually got tattooed at the event and i have to take this off because it's just i don't know it bleeds there it is very cute um but that is not what we're going to talk about today uh i see that my camera battery is blinking so let's just do this very quickly and also i'm very tired i just want to take this off and go to bed my problem area as you guys know is this line and also a little bit right here it has creased obviously it always does you can kind of fix it which is dotting it out um but other than that i'm very surprised at how much i like it although it has been many hours so i have touched my face a lot i have not really thought about 
not touching my face so the contour is kind of gone which I don't know if it's the contour or the bronzer um, or if it's the base in general, I think that the base is looking really, really nice. I mean, my forehead, I mean, I do have like two lines right here that you guys can kind of see, I guess. But it still looks really flawless. And on my nose, it looks really nice. Although I have some like mascara dots. I look very glowy still. It is not oily looking, I feel like at least. So even though I'm like combinational skin, it works. The thing that I like the most about it is that it still looks glowy and fresh without looking oily because I do get oily during the day and it has been quite a warm day. So uh, I'm kind of impressed with that. I actually like the color a lot more now than I did before. Maybe I'm not. Okay, so my camera just died, so I am filming the last part on my iPhone because, I mean, it's very late, so I don't really feel like charging my battery and then trying to film again. So let's just end it here. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Also, as a end result, I actually really like the foundation and I'm going to uh, keep using it. I like that I look very fresh and glowy without looking oily and I feel like even though I've had a day <laughs> it has hold it up quite nicely. Hold it up? It has held up. Held up nicely. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I hope that we will see each other in the next video. Bye guys! <laughs>